it No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video. Today we are back with, um, I almost said Wednesday, back with Thursday modding. So we're back here working on the, uh, International Lone Star truck, or Load Star, I should say. Um, so right now I'm currently working on the flatbed version. Um, I'm gonna be doing a few different versions of this truck. One's going to be a grain truck, um, modeled the same look the same as my old boss's truck uh or you know textured up and whatever uh and then a flatbed version a version where it's got a flatbed and then like chemical tanks so you can use it for you know like tending your sprayers and whatever and then one you know with like some seed stuff on it and you know a few different versions but uh for right now we're just going to start on the uh flatbed version so we're gonna go ahead and international load star flatbed so i just want to find a picture to see and somebody actually put an internet put one together using this same truck um Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so first off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, texture all of this stuff. Um, actually, no, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to build a flatbed. So we need this cube to come to the center. Please and thank you. Really? Zero. There we go. So now we'll name this flatbed. So we want to go. Whoa, I don't know why it's doing that. Ah, that's why. Okay. Anyway, so we want to go nice and close up to the truck. It's right about there. And the back will come to about there. And I'll just go right about there. And then down to the frame. Then, oh, that's a little too far down, huh? Well, we'll work on this a little bit. Okay, so now I just kind of want to take, go loop, cut, and slide here. I'll go just like that. Face. And we'll bring, oh. Ah, that's right. Uh, left control R. those as close to each other as is possible and then this will come up just below the back window now we'll go back into here and then we can select these I believe and dissolve vertices nope dissolve edges nope okay I can't select that one then Dissolve. Nope. I guess I can't do any of these then. Maybe these bottom ones. Yeah. These bottom ones I can do. The bottom is about it though. Okay. So then. Let's see. We're going to go here. And we're going to go. Flatbed. And I'm going to make this. Hex code for medium gray. Oops, I spelled that wrong, but. Okay, so let's find a nice gray color. Um, darker. Well, 
Well, that's not at all what I want. Um, that'll work. Okay, so now, what I want to do is I want to make a cylinder. Now, let's bring all these to zero. Okay, so now... How do I rotate this thing now? Uh, I gotta redo this a different way here. We'll make a cylinder. We'll bring it up. And then I want to rotate it 90 degrees. And oh, wait, never mind. That's just turning it. Okay, so now we'll join these together. And then we'll go just like this. So we'll make this thing the size of the tire, about. So about like that. But then we want to go just a hair bigger. Because this is going to make this have a spot for the tire in here. We'll actually go just to right there. Okay, face select. And then we'll shoot this face all the way over to here. So we want to make new material, da -da, assign, and then we go P by material. I'll go into object mode, and then we want lean. This goes with flatbed 001. Difference, apply, delete. Did that work? It did. Awesome. Um, and actually, you know what? I actually want to make that a little bit bigger. Shoot. I did one step too far. History. Redo. Ah, whatever. We'll just move this over here and do this again then. So I think just like that will work. Just kind of see here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we'll go, we'll do this again, new, assign, P, material, object mode, and we'll select this, modifier, balloon, double one, difference, apply, delete. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't want to go all the way across. Okay, third time's a charm, right? Let's just see, does that have the whole cut? It does. No, it didn't. Oops. Edit mode. Nope, I want to be selected on this. Does that have a whole cut? No, it does not. I completely forgot that this does not cut all the way over. This just cuts 
as far as that. <sighs> oh. So that one's like halfway through there. Halfway through the leaf spring, kind of. Okay, so now if we go on flatbed, there, that, to that, to that, to that, apply. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, so now we go into here, and now we need to make a cutout for the fuel tank. So we go a cube. This one, we can do it all here in the edit mode. We don't have to do anything elsewhere. We don't have to make it separately like we did before. So we want to go scale Z. We want it about there. Scale X. Okay, I can't see that, so... Okay, so then scale Y, we want this. Okay, so now I gotta kinda do some manual stuff. So I'll go about to there. About right where that's at. And have that in about there. That can go up to uh, about there. And that can go about there. Okay, and then this guy needs to come over here a ways. Out to there. Okay, so now we gotta do the same thing. Make a new material, a bomb, a sign, P, my material, go into object mode, select the flatbed, this again, that again, difference, apply, flatbed 001, whoops. Point zero zero two. This I don't want to have the number because that's the normal flatbed. There we go. Perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to delete that face. Actually, wait, no. I will just go like this, P, selection, wood, so now we'll go wooden board texture, and we'll find some board stuff. I kind of like this pick, this one here. Ooh, actually this is even better. So we'll copy the image, we'll open up paint.net, and then we'll go Control N to make a new 2048, 2048, okay, paste that, and we just stretch that out. And control shift S would okay close that close that okay we are set oh I need to put some blinkers on this thing I think yeah just a couple of circle ones so we'll make a cylinder We'll zero that out. We'll rotate it 90 degrees. 
Oops. No, not that way. 90 degrees. Oh, I do need it that way anyways. Okay, so now we'll scale this thing down. So then this I'll call flatbed lights. So we'll just get this onto the flatbed here. I'm going to make that much smaller than that. Okay, so then so we need four of these. We'll put one there, one there, Okay, so we got those, so now we need to select these, P, selection, flatbed light, lenses, so then these will go under the flatbed lights. So then we want to take the flatbed lights. We want to scale them just a little bit. Oops. No, I want to do that in edit mode. Ooh. Um. See, do I have to do them individually? Nope. Uh, scale Y. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. I can go like this. Never mind. Okay, those look pretty good. So we'll go here and go flatbed lights. We'll make that chrome. Flatbed light lenses. That'll be perfectly white because we're going to go orange. Oh, wait, round orange lights texture ah we'll just go round orange blinker texture I'd like that but it's got the words over it that's stupid okay let's go round orange blinker See if I could find what I want to find. Aha! That's exactly what I wanted. Copy image. Then we'll go here again. Drill in 2048. 2048. Paste it. Enlarge it. S flatbed blinkers. Now we can close that and close that. And now we can start baking this truck. So we're going to start up here at the cab. Um, we do also have to figure out the interior, but that's going to be the last thing I do. So the cab is in white. Uh, I'm just going to make it a nice white color. Nice and simple. So we'll smart UV project that 0 0.1. Wait, no, 0 0.01. That's what I need. Okay. So this might take a while to do all of this stuff. So we'll go new cab. 2048, 2048, and we want to uncheck alpha, okay, 
So now we can go into texture mode and we can start seeing this truck come to life. I want to make that just a little bit smaller there. Okay, so now we go here and we want to go, okay, we can get rid of that, get rid of that, that, that. Close everything I don't need. I just need bake. I need full render. Margin is 5. Or no, margin is 20. I don't know what I'm thinking. And then clear. So now our truck is baking. And there we have our truck. Let's pop into rendered mode quick. Just gonna see what she looks like. This will look pretty sweet. Texture mode. Okay. So now we can save as an image. We're in the flatbed version. We'll save as cab. Go over here. New. Open. Textures. Cab. Okay, so then we can, well, we'll just leave it open, I guess. So, you, Smart UV Project, so this is the cab lights. Cab lights. So then these are chrome, correct? Yes. So then, oh, cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, ambient occlusion, normalized. Now we'll bake. Okay, so now we got those. Image, save as image. Cablights.png, new. So this is a UV map. Open, textures, cablights.png. Okay, so now we can do these cab lights orange. Did I give these an orange texture? Yes, I did. Smart UV project, new cab lights orange. I'm still recording, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, and then we can go back to full render and bake. That looks pretty cool. Image, save as image here, and then we can go new. Okay, that's not set to that anymore. Cab lights orange. Now comes the fun one. All the chrome stuff. There's a lot of pieces here that are chrome, so it's definitely gonna take a while to break to bake. Chrome, okay, and then we need to go, crap, I'm doing it again, ambient occlusion, now bake, now we'll watch as all of this stuff comes to life as well, well that actually didn't, that baked a whole lot faster than I thought it was going to, save as image, new, this is a UV map. Textures, Chrome. Wow, that looks awesome. If I do say so myself. And I do. Um, okay. Anyways. Smart UV project. Flatbed. Put that back on full render. We'll get our bed baked. Image, save as image. Uh, 
this wood needs to come up here and go under flatbed. So this is going to go into edit mode. This is just going to get unwrapped. Ah, shoot. We'll get rid of that. Flatbed wood. Edit mode. And you're going to have your own texture. So we're going to take this and this and move them up. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go W and we're going to go or subdivide, subdivide, and then subdivide. There we go. So you unwrap. Okay, so I'm just going to see what it looks like all the way up. Although I'm sure it's probably going to look, yeah, that's going to look horrible. So we'll take these and we'll just move them up until it looks kind of nice. I think I'll move it to right there. How's that look? That looks awesome. So we'll take this and we'll move it on top of the other one. So we'll move this down to line up with that one. And then we'll bring it up here, about to, where does it look nice? Right there. That looks pretty cool. So then this one is going to line up with this one here. Oops, scale Y. And then we'll move that down to line up there. And move these up to line up right there. Okay, so then I'll just kind of take this guy and... Ah, shoot. Okay, so now move that down to line up there. And then we'll go. I forgot that I can do that. And we'll line this up down here to match. And then everything should be about lined up. Image. We'll just save the image. And then we'll open it. I think that looks pretty cool. So then we need the flatbed lights, which are also chrome. So 
We'll go smart UV project. Flatbed lights. Wait, is that what I named that? Flatbed blinkers. Okay. Good. So far, so good. This thing's looking pretty cool. So we'll save his image. New UV map open. Flatbed. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Flatbed lights. Blinkers is for this one. So then we'll go edit mode. So we'll open textures, flatbed blinkers. Wow, that actually fits like almost dead on. So we'll just zoom in on one of these here. And we'll just select all these. That way we can kind of scale this down a little bit. And perfect. So we'll just save it. New open textures flatbed blinkers. That turned out awesome. See, it's, a lot of times these things just turn out really awkwardly. And it kind of sucks. So, Smart UV, this thing, new frame, and then we want this one to be white. Since our frame is black, so we'll go full render and we won't clear. And then we'll let that bake. This is going to take a while here, I bet. Oh, well, maybe not. It's actually going pretty pretty smooth all right cool image save as image frame that uh, that turned out pretty well actually okay so now for our lights up front here tab edit mode smart UV project front lights now we can put this back to black okay ambient occlusion because this is chrome we'll bake that up save as image Set that to UV map. Okay, so now we have the lenses, which are going to be another um, blinkers, I think, is what I have that as. Yes, it is. See now, this is kind of how the other blinkers work a lot of times, and it's it's sometimes a pain in the butt, but uh, this actually worked pretty well. That looks pretty good. Looks awesome. Okay, so new, uh, we'll just click save. I always click save just to make sure and blinkers okay so now the headlights open textures headlights let's go into object mode here and see how that looks that looks almost perfect um 
just gonna kind of scale this up a little bit more though now how's it look looks a lot more centered I don't know what all these rings here are for though Ah, this goes around here. Okay, so this I want to be scaled up to fit around here. Hmm. Let's try smart UV projecting it. Whoa, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> okay, well, I think that'll work right there. That looks pretty good. So I'll just save it. Open it. Okay, so the interior we're going to wait on. Whoa. Uh, wait, I got to smart UV that first. Smart UV project. <laughs> we'll wait for this to unravel itself. So we just had the tires, license plate, mirrors, um, the windshield wipers, and then the interior uh, left to bake. So the windows, they're going to be, their texture will be applied in Blender. <coughs> or not in Blender, in Giants Editor, I mean. So... Oh, come on, tire. How long does it take? Yeah, I guess there is a lot of, uh, a lot of faces on this thing, but still. Man, oh man. Okay, tell you guys what I'll do. I'm going to pause the video here and bake all these tires and rims because I'm sure they're all going to take a long time to unwrap and whatever. Um, see, there's the one finally. But uh, I'll bake all these. these okay, guys, so we're back here. The rims are not taking as long to unwrap as the... Uh, other stuff so I'm just gonna show baking these uh, I don't know what the deal is with this one here it's just not wanting to bake correctly when I go into rendered mode it looks just fine so I tried all I can think of yeah they're all doing it whatever Uh, I'll show you guys here when I go into oops rendered. I mean it looks looks okay to me, so 
I'll go with it, I guess. Oops, I already did that. I'll go with it. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot to do that on that one. Um, our F RAM. Okay, then I want the oops, the left front RAM. Okay, so now for these dual rims. So then we'll go W, remove doubles. Wow, 96,000 vertices. We'll go Alt J, U, smart UV project. So we're getting close to done. So this is the RR rim. And we'll bake that guy up. I don't know what the deal is with these things, but whatever I've tried full render I've tried everything I know to think of everything I uh, everything I can think of I've tried everything I know to try but still nothing so what else it works it may not be the best but it's also not the worst I've seen worse so uh oh. I screwed up. Shoot. Ah, uh, whatever. Huh? No. Ah, uh, never mind. I got it. Alright, L R RAM. I'll bake that guy. New needs UV map. Save his image. LR RAM. Open LR RAM. Yeah, that's just totally messed up. I might have to play with that some more later on. Okay, so that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. So now for the license plates. So tab on into edit mode. Open the license plate. That one actually sits like perfect. And so does that one. Alright. They look good. Okay, so the mirror lenses, I don't think I need to bake. I have to look at that. I've never messed with mirrors before, so I have to mess around with that. So now we got these guys, smart UV, so we got tail lights, this is an ambient occlusion, Image, save as image, uh, new UV map, textures, tail lights. Okay, then the light lenses. Those. 
Okay, so we're just going to select them one at a time. Actually, you know what? Just do them all, I guess. So this needs to be scaled on the Y just slightly, like so. That needs to be scaled on the X, like so. Dang it, this one did not do it. Okay, and then we'll go open the blinkers. Okay, that's done. The windows will do nothing with. And now the windshield wipers. Smart UV them. Windshield wipers. That needs to be white since these things are black. Um, we don't want to clear. Cool, so now we got the truck itself done. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have made this flatbed a whole lot wider. Let's go look at that. I'm willing to bet you that on the flatbeds, it's probably just a single axe. No, they're dual. Yeah, I need to make that wider. Let's fix that. Well, actually, we can just do all of this stuff at once. Oh man, I gotta redo this thing. Shoot. Yeah, because I didn't make it big enough. Oh crap. So that needs to go. Okay, so this shouldn't take long at all. Kind of already know what's got to be done. Or how it's got to be done. Whatever you want to say. I already know all of what's got to happen. Okay, so now I gotta go back into texture mode here. We'll go loop, cut, and slide. We want that to be about that big. Okay, so now this has to go up to there. Perfect. Okay, so now these have to be scaled down a little bit on that, a little more. Okay, export that.
I'm actually going to make this a different color as well. A bit more of like a darker kind of color. Kind of like that. Flatbed. Flatbed. Wood. That'll go under there. Oops. Not under flatbed lights. Flatbed. Okay. So now... We got this thing. Let's go into solid. Create a cylinder. We'll zero that thing out. Wish I had thought of this sooner. I don't know why it didn't click. Don't know why it didn't click a whole lot sooner, but it didn't. That, hey, this is gonna be too small, dude. Yeah, didn't think of that. <laughs> okay, so how's that look? Pretty good, pretty good. Join those. Okay. New material. New assign. P by material. Okay, and we want this. Add modifier. That. Difference. That. Apply. Delete that. So now we'll make a cube and do the same on this right here. Although this thing is going to be a little bit different than it was before. Just because of the way that I have to do this now. Okay, so this has to be out to there. This has to be out to there. And this has to be all the way like up. All the way up like here. I don't know what I just did there, but shoot. Ah, that's what I did. I don't want to be selected on that. And that has to come all the way out. This has to go all the way back here. Okay, join them two together. And I should have selected all these beforehand, but I did not. Go figure. Add a new material, assign by material flatbed. That, that, that. Apply and gone. Okay, so now we can get back to what we were doing. Hopefully, I'm still recording. Yes, I am. I'm not just talking to myself like an idiot. Texture. I'm actually going to find a different texture for this. Wooden, wood flatbed deck. Let's see. Trailer wood texture, maybe. 
trailer wood texture. Ooh, I like this. That looks a lot better. Copy image. And if we open the wood. Uh, I just love doing this. Not. Okay, so now we gotta take this and rotate it. Because the stuff will go that way. I just need to go control S. Not control shift S. Just control S. Okay, so we'll work on the wood here. We'll unwrap that. Open textures wood. You know what? I think that looks good right like that. I'm just going to put flatbed for now. And I'll just overwrite the other one. Clear. 20 now we'll bake this then we'll be all set to work on the interior let's see we want flatbed I think that looks pretty awesome, right like that. Okay, so, let's see, this video is over an hour already, I think, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to do another quick pause, and then I'm actually going to stop for the night, but um, what I'm going to do is pause the video here, I'm going to take some screenshots of this thing, get these screenshots uploaded to my Dropbox, and then I'm going to shut down for the night, but then tomorrow I will continue on, uh, you know, today is Tuesday for me, so then tomorrow, being Wednesday, I will finish off this video by doing the interior, and then, um, yeah, so, okay guys, so I'm back, um, we're gonna do this interior here. I'm gonna try and make this as fast as I possibly can because I want to get this done. Um, if you watched the video earlier um, of my summer car, uh, you would have seen why I want to get this done. And if you haven't, well, then go check that out. Okay, so now I want these tubes to be chrome here. Now I'll just select all these chrome parts. And then the top on this second knob, I want chrome. So 
So I did try redoing the wheels. They did the same thing. So I will have to just mess around with that. So all I'm going to do to finish this video is just... Um, just separate this out. You guys will see the um, finished product in a later video. So don't worry. You'll get to see it. Just, I want to get this done. So, <laughs> I want to be able to get this video uploaded and whatnot. Okay, so now I need to decide. If I want to make the whole petal chrome, or if I want to have, like, a black. I want to have a black petal. Yeah. So then all this stuff here will be black. So now for like this dashboard here, that I can't really separate out because, well at the moment anyways, because I'm not sure how it'll be set up. I have to go back and look at the textures for um, the original model and um, figure out how to set this up because I want to I know in the original one had all the textures to you know show all the knobs and whatever and so And then I want to separate this out just a little bit further even. Hmm, actually not all that stuff. I just want to be able to get the logo on here. was the wrong button. Besides, this video is kind of getting long anyways. I'm pretty sure it's about an hour now or so. Somewhere in there. 
So it's getting pretty lengthy. All right, and then that's all for the interior. So yeah, that's gonna be all for the video as well. Um, I guess we can set up the materials for some of these maybe or something, I don't know. Um, so let's go with the interior black. New interior black. Obviously, that'll be black. The interior chrome. And then that's the hex 9099E. And I think this should be done. Yes, it is. Um, the rear view mirror is already done. That's already AO'd, too, even. It should have been. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Um, and then the seat. Let's open a new tab here. Hex code for tan. Burley wood? What's that? I'm going to actually check this out here in... Uh, um, Paint.net, we can put in the hex code here. Just like that. Paint it. And then we'll just go new. And then copy the one for tan. And just see which one looks nicer. They're like the same. Oh, because they were the same. Number. Oh, that's right. Oops. Wrong thing. I need to go over here. And then... Then I can change this. Crap. I copied that. Copy. Paste. Now we paint. Ugh, they're the same dang thing. Whatever, we'll just go with tan, I guess. And seat. And bada bing, bada boom. The steering wheel. What color should we make that? Let's go with a load star. Ste Let's go load star interior. Okay, so it looks like black steering wheel is pretty popular. Um, yep, I'd say it is. So a nice black. And then we'll... Oops, I forgot to turn the visibility back on that. Steering wheel. Logo. And I'll just make that a perfect white. Okay, guys. That is going to do it for this video if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe uh if you like what you see be sure to check out down below be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for links to all of my social medias my mod site and other cool youtube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow